vlog another segment anyways uh, it is the first segment of the BTS vlog from the Monday March 24th to uh, right now we'll say the 26th is our guesstimate <laughs> uh, so uh, let's give you the time and date stamp it is 11 hours and 10 minutes into the day of Tuesday March 25th 2014 and what we're doing is we're going to be back uh, dating some of the vlog because uh, to the 24th because um, I wasn't able to vlog yesterday. The, the day worked out that it was uh, rather complex and the timed vlog wasn't there. It, got, it gets to a situation every once in a while and this is what happens. When you first start projects and you're doing what I'm doing. The, basically the sort of the open exploration where you're going into the unknown. Uh, the first few bits into a project is really uh, chaotic. And as I said before, there's a flurry of notes taking. There's, well, most of your notes are ad hoc. And it does take a while before you can sit down and adjust things and, re you know, and put them into some sort of order and get them, you know, get them more organized. And this is sort of what happened yesterday. Yesterday, uh, in addition to going out and doing some work outside uh, for my parents to do some more, more work on their, t their new TV, uh, I did a lot of adjustment and readjustments to uh, the way I have my notes, to what, what type of things I'm doing. In other words, it was basically a, a sort of a day to reorganize. And that's primarily what I did. Uh, I also slept a lot because Sunday I ended up going shopping, and the shopping is the shopping is a minimum of is a minimum of a two and a half hour hike. So uh, you'll see that in these videos as you watch the, v the BTS video, the BTS vlogs. I do take you uh, shopping with me, and you'll see that you'll see the sh uh, you'll, you'll see the bag that I carry. You'll see how much I carry in the bag. Uh, so you'll get an idea that for two and a half hours with that bag on your back uh, when you do get back you're sore you're tired and uh, the rest of the day after the uh, hike is uh, rather complex in terms of you trying to push beyond your uh, physical fatigue to sort of finish up so whatever you can of the day and you do un end up in some cases falling behind uh, that being said uh, some new windows of opportunity have opened up, and uh, this will mean a readjustment in how I film and edit things, and that should actually improve the flow of production, the video production here, and that means I'll be able to get more more um, videos out. So yay for that! Uh, but uh, that's all. To, this is all all remains to be seen to see how. Well, I can sort of put this into the schedule and keep the schedule up. That's the whole thing is that every time you want to do something new, you have to make room in the schedule. And then you have to see how the schedule ends up working out over a couple of weeks. So we'll see how things go. And But anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this short for here because uh, that's about all I have to say. Uh, because uh, <laughs> the day hasn't begun and then I'd rather sort of leave... Uh, things for uh, when I do have something to say. Well, more to say anyways. <laughs> anyways, I'll see you in the next segment in a couple of hours. Yay for that. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs> off. 
it's time to go food shopping again and this is the first vlog the first segment of the vlog for today as well as starting off the vlog this way who uh, anyways uh, it's about 1 136 I don't know what day it is in terms of the date so I'll have to give you that when I get back at the last part of this uh, anyways uh, if you notice on the uh, uh, on the Google Plus that I've got two new communities, I have Open Science on uh, G Plus. That's uh, Google Plus, and this was created because uh, the uh, other science uh, communities on uh, Google Plus are all closed communities. In other words, uh, if someone on that uh, community doesn't believe your stuff is science whatever you're presenting well, well they'll just simply delete it and they delete you from the community well that is not what science is about science is supposed to be open it's not supposed to be subjective and when a person submits something it doesn't matter whether you think it's science or not uh, because it's up to the community to decide whether it's science or not and they'll accept or reject I mean this is what free speech is all about free speech is about allowing ideas thoughts and opinions to flow and in a science community that's what science should be about it should be open and, open and objective not closed and subjective like you see on uh, like you've seen so far yeah people have their opinions so people have their opinions you know, let them have them. Uh, anyways, uh, so that's uh, that about uh, Google Plus. The other one that I sort of set up is uh, one for Freegans and Beyond. Right? Uh, that's what the title is, Freegans and Beyond. And the reason why it's Freegans and Beyond is because uh, it's dedicated to people who uh, are interested in that type of lifestyle or, or living that type of lifestyle like I am. You know, this could be like you, if you are living off grid, part time, full time, or just thinking about it. Do you do uh, dumpster diving, thrifting? Uh, any one of those people, you know, if you're interested or you are one of these people, then this list is for you. And you can even uh, barter and trade on it. <laughs> you know, I don't mind if you sell things on here. Just to keep it in its proper category. <laughs> uh, anyways. My arm's getting tired from holding the camera, so uh, I'll call, talk to you guys in a bit. Because I have to cross the street in a bit anyway, so. <laughs> see. Well, I went to see uh, what the uh, New Century Plaza had, and they had more stuff again. Uh, so whenever enough, enough change in my pocket uh, that I don't put in the bank, uh, that's where in these uh, cash stores uh, come in real handy. They get a lot of stuff, good stuff there for cheap. Uh, matter of fact, I'm wearing boots now. Uh, some of my old winter boots really got wrecky. Uh, so I got some new good ones, but they're good for uh, deep winter. And it's not deep winter, it's kind of nice out. It's kind of nice out here. So, uh, I got a new pair of boots. Nothing special for six bucks. So that's kind of cool. And I got some uh, stuff to do some Kawaii projects with. As I said, I'm gonna start doing going into Kawaii design for Beauty and the Geek. That's uh, so I got some stuff for that. Uh, that's about it. Uh, uh, for those of you who, who are doing sub for sub, uh, I do sub for sub all the time. Usually, uh, I don't usually say no to sub to sub to sub, and it's kind of automatic. As soon as uh, someone subs to me, I automatically sub back. So. The, this is sort of without question. Like so, if, if I go into sub to sub, sub to sub, sub for sub, and you sub me, you don't even have to ask. I'll sub back. So that's kind of how I do things. Uh, the only time I don't sub back is if you're doing porn and stuff like that. It's kind of uh, where I don't sub back. Uh, what else is there? Uh, not much else. I'm going now to TNT. To do uh, the week shopping, I find Wednesdays the best days to go. So <sighs> that's about it for now, and I'll talk to you on the way back. 
I'm gonna try to vlog with a very heavy backpack. Ironically, I didn't get that much, but I did get a big bag of rice. Anytime you carry things like rice and milk and whatever, uh, that adds a significant amount of weight to the backpack. And so, although you don't have a lot of stuff in the bag, the bag itself is uh, rather heavy. So, uh, where does that leave us? <laughs> Well, it leaves us trying to get back to the place in one piece. Uh, it's going to take a bit of concentration to do that. And I was thinking that uh, I was sort of on the way here, but I didn't really didn't have the opportunity to talk about it while I was vlogging. Because it, it, this is what usually happens. You think of more things to say after you turn the camera off. So, this is that. These <laughs> uh, are the thoughts that after I turn the camera off. And it's about the group, the uh, community groups, uh, thinkers, and higher thought. There are two of them. And the question is, what exactly is a thinker? You know, what qualifies as a thinker? Is it someone who is seriously deep in thought all the time? Uh, or has an occasional burst or flash of inspiration? Uh, <laughs> because in many cases, your solutions do come from bursts of inspiration. Sometimes you do spend a while thinking about things, but then beyond that, uh, one has the question whether or not something is higher thought or not. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. Oh, and the other question is, about spirituality, how deep is your spirituality? Are you simply candles and yoga mats? Or is there something more? Anyways, I'll leave you with those thoughts. <laughs> All right, see you back at the office. Well, it's just about uh, 1.30 in the morning. With the time and date stamp, it's 1.28 on uh, Tuesday, March 27th, 2014. I did the uh, food shopping, the walk on food shopping on the 26th. So what are we doing at 1.30 in the morning? Well, we're in the middle of another uh, system debug. I've been three hours into the system debug. I'm still working on it uh, up here in the front room. So this is sort of another, this is going to mean that, yeah, we're in another interrupt once again. Uh, this is a, sort of interrupting our normal schedule. But uh, this is kind of one of the things I do while I'm doing something. I'm watching TV here. I've got this little... Um, this little <laughs> sort of device here, this uh, DVD DVD player, it uses a stick. But I've got my other computer here, this th this is why the network works the way it, and what I'm doing is I'm doing scanning. I'm just scanning um, some Greek documents, some Greek books, into the scanner so I can bring them over to my, uh, uh, in, over to my, um, to the uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu, that's the uh, mobile Cyborg Alpha, that's the uh, little um, smart pads, like the iPad type of thing. Uh, and so I'm scanning the Greek into here, so uh, that way I can practice, do more of the uh, Greek practicing uh, while I'm out and about and maintain a good solid library. Now the thing is that a lot of times the texts that are scanned into, uh, uh, into the Android library and then they, they, use, they use the OCR, the characters aren't always correct and there are mistakes in the scans. So what you do is if you using, want to work with old text, what you want to do is you want to get um, old books like this. Instead of doing an OCR, what you want to do is you want to do sort of like a, I mean, like, 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 like almost like a photocopy. You want to scan them in as, as, as photographs so that you don't correct anything. You just simply as you're going through your uh, with your with your Adobe Reader, what you're seeing is you're seeing um, the uh, the raw image file rather than the translated text or the machine translated text, and this provides you with a better um, <coughs> overview of what's actually happening uh, in the text rather than wondering if something's amiss or, or there's an error in the OCR text. A lot of times there are errors in the OCR text. It, you know, as, much, as careful as people are, errors do creep in and this is one way to sort of weed out errors. So I'm doing one book now. I'm doing, I think it's a 300 page book. I'm about halfway through it. 
Uh, but I still have another. Uh, <laughs> I still have another, uh, but a hundred, hundred, and hundred and fifty pages left to go. Uh, I am getting tired, but I do have to sit here and watch the system debug. Do the system debug here. It's going to take me till at least three o'clock, three four o'clock in the morning. That's going to wipe out Thursday. That, not necessarily wipe it out, but sort of push a large chunk of the day forward. So. Uh, we'll see when my start time is going to be. Normally my start time has been uh, around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. But I'm thinking now that more likely that things are now going to migrate to about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's what's going to happen. Th 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 I have no control over this. This is something that occurs. And you have to sit down and you have to deal with it. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun while you're going through it. But afterwards... Uh, when you start getting your mind mind in order uh, after the initial panic of what's happened uh, for me I say my prayers uh, and then uh, after I say my prayers sort of just to sort of help me calm down I start looking around to see okay I've got this problem here how do I recover from it and what the, if the negative is the worst case scenario is I don't cover the whole thing completely what, how much of it can I get out? You know, what positive can I get out of a situation? So I am in a negative situation now, and what I'm trying to do now is trying to make the best or the most positive outcome occur. That's what I'm working on now. Uh, but it's not always. It's not easy to do. It's not not necessarily easy thing to do. It's not necessarily, uh, and it's also not a happy thing. And you know, in terms of if you talk about depression and stuff like that, and how to sort of get your mind around things. It's a lot of times, it's hard. You can't initially simply get, it's not a matter of simply getting your mind around it. It's a matter of eventually getting your mind around uh, the situation that you're in, the situation that you deal with, and trying to find some degree of positive out of it, or a positive direction. If you can't find something directly positive, maybe you can find a positive direction, some, some positive direction to move it. And again, the, the whole movement doesn't have to be a major thing. It could be just Look, finding that direction initially, and then once you find that direction, taking the bit by bit steps to start moving in that direction. <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's say we're back in the situation again where uh, uh, we have an interrupt. The question is, what's next, and how will I work through it? Anyways, uh, that's it for now. That's all I got to say. And I'll talk to you later. Well, because this is the uh, uh, the fourth segment uh, of the BTS log, that means our BTS log is going to go from the uh, March 24th to the 27th, because it is... I'm giving you our date and timestamp. It is seven hours and twenty nine minutes into the day of March twenty seventh, two thousand fourteen, and it's Thursday. Uh, I logged earlier uh, at the uh, in the editing bay. That's where that's where the editing bay is. But I also have the file server there. And what has been going on is that uh, yeah, I went food shopping today. And then I got up to do some work because I couldn't sleep. Uh, after uh, I think it was about nine o'clock, I got up because I couldn't sleep anymore. It was just wasn't feeling uh, tired enough to sleep while I was lying down. So I got up, sort of to have something to eat and just do some bits of work. Uh, and it ended up that uh, something went wrong with the file server that has most of the main files on it. It's an old system. It's not a new system. It's a, it's, it's it's actually my old one of my oldest systems out on 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 the network here. And uh, I hadn't really been trying to do much of anything with it because uh, old systems are kind of finicky. And it's best to sort of leave them alone and then deal with things as they occur. And so nothing has been happening to the file server for a while. So, you know, all was well and good. But uh, as things would have it... <laughs> And this is kind of the way they work. I, you know, I'm laughing now, but when it first happened, I was, you know, earlier today, I wasn't laughing. Uh, 
the, 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 the file system went down and the system needs a, a, a thorough debug. Well, it is now, I said, I, this was, uh, this was uh, what, 10 o'clock, 11. I talked to you around 1.30 in the morning. It's now 7.30 in the morning, so we're going on a, de a, 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 a good debug uh, in terms of time, seven and a half hours. But the thing is, is that when you're doing debug, a lot of the work is you're waiting for the system to do work on its own. You're just doing some of the work on, uh, with, with, with Linux. Oh. The process is really automated. So there is a lot of sort of waiting in between as uh, Linux does its thing. You're sort of sitting there twiddling your thumbs. Or well, I usually watch TV or have you know some of my uh, my, my shows on you know the uh, from my IP TV. And that's usually the kids' shows like uh, I'm watching Lizzie McGuire now. Uh, I usually watch uh, Zoe 101, uh, Living Maddie. Uh, all, all kids shows. I, I don't. I, I don't really. While I'm doing work like this, I don't. Uh, and even when I'm studying, I don't like watching the uh, adult shows. I don't really like watching the adult shows. Period. I've nearly really never really got into them. But uh, uh, that being said, so I decided let's say let's see what I can do to sort of fill that time because I know uh, I haven't gone to bed yet. It's seven thirty in the morning. I'm not going to get to bed till around eight o'clock in the morning, possibly nine. And that's going to mean most of Thursday, most of the day Thursday that's coming. Uh, as you can see in the background, the uh, sunlight's coming up. It's uh, it's going to be a write-off. I'm going to be sleeping all day. So I decided that uh, I did some laundry. I'll hang it up in a bit, and you'll see that probably tomorrow as I uh, do a vlog here. Uh, you'll see the uh, laundry hanging in the background. But this is kind of one of the reasons, you know, you want to sort of see what happens, why my day my day flips over, why I have things like like a clothes, a, a washing machine here. Well, because this is it. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, when the system went down, I was doing the debug, I decided to do some laundry at 2 a.m. You know? That, that That's kind of the way things work around here, is, you know? If you've got extra time to do things and you're just sort of sitting around, that's how you that's how you fill the time in. The, fill the time in. You know, uh, you, you you try to do other things uh, to sort of pass the time uh, because you do have to put the hours and you do have to sit there sometimes to watch the system, uh, and so you do other things like that. And that's why was, the the other project that I was working on is uh, um, stepping further into my Greek studies. I needed to scan a book into a PDF file. Uh, this is an old Greek book. It's from the uh, from the 1800s. So I, I scanned it in. Uh, I did. I how many, how many pages? I, I did. Uh, I scanned 500 pages in. All the scans went in all right. And so now I'm doing the uh, final editing in GIMP uh, on the uh, things to sort of get things aligned properly and make sure that the text comes out all right in terms of the pictures. Uh, because these scans, you don't want, particularly with the older text, you don't want to do a, an OCR. You want to have that original uh, sort of uh, scanned image. Uh, because there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of issues when, you, when you're dealing with older, te old, older text. You don't want interpretations to come in there. And, and what happens, OCRs interpret things. As much as they try to be verbatim, they are—they do interpret things, and you can get errors popping into an OCR, particularly with those old, older text that you're not necessarily aware of. And so, it's better to have just the regular scan text than to have the OCR. So, you, and that means that you have to work with the uh, the file, the PDF file, as an image file to sort of fix things up. So, you were just sort of fixing up the images. You're making sure things are aligned properly. Uh, just different things like that. Uh, so that's that, that's kind of what's going on. That's what happened. This is kind of how this gives you an insight into how things end up getting screwed up around here. And you know, you know I, I mean, the, the title for the, for the, for this BTS vlog is going to be uh, buried yet again. I mean, I was just starting to dig out yesterday. Yes, you know, I was talking uh, from the twenty third to the twenty fourth. I was talking about digging out. Even even the, uh, the earlier today, I was talking about that. We we're finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, getting things back into order again, just like that. 
you know, bury it again. And we'll, we'll see how we'll see how I end up end up getting out of this. There are a number of issues that I still have to work around, and it's not going to be finished today. I'm doing half the work today and half the work tomorrow. So, you know, that's that's kind of the way things go. You know, because I, I, you can only push yourself for so long before you get too tired, and I'm getting to a point where I can stop. So, but I said a half hour, forty five minutes, I should be in bed. Um, We'll see when I get up. <laughs> Anyways, good night. It's seven thirty in the morning. <laughs> and see you when I get up. Democratic Earth. Earth.